everybody, I'm Jammer and welcome back to the Paradise Island of Animal H here in Animal Crossing New Horizons. It's been a while since I gave you an update of my island. Um, we've made a lot of progress um, on streams and whatnot, so I figured it was about time to give you guys a little tour of what's been going on here on the island. But first, let's just check our mail real quick. One for the Happy Home Academy. Oh, and one from Flick. The first thing to note is my house has been completely upgraded. I mean, I haven't paid off the final upgrade, but I will admit it's still totally a mess in here. This front room is just kind of a cobbled mess thrown, thrown together. I got this cardboard bed last night, which I saw is absolutely, which I think is absolutely hilarious. I'll have to put this in my dump eventually when I, when I rebuild it. But I can at least show you the other rooms. The back room is just nothing. <laughs> Good Marshall and Goldie Pulse posters in the back, but otherwise there's nothing going on back here. Over here on the left, we have all my Easter stuff. I just kind of wanted to display them all to kind of like figure out which ones I had and didn't have yet crafted. Um, yeah, eventually this will all be thrown in the storage because this looks a little intense, but I figured why not? We'll just throw it up for now because it's the spirit of the holiday and all. Here on the right, we got, I just... A blue room. I don't know. I just also just threw some furniture down. I was trying to make it look good, but I'm like, I just don't have a lot of stuff to work with, I feel like, in this game. I seriously don't know how everyone's doing such amazing designs. I feel like all I'm getting furniture-wise are just junk. All I have are cardboard boxes for desks, and that's about it. Anyways, let's check out the new upstairs and downstairs rooms. Upstairs, oh! Oh, it's like, it's like more, it's super wide and like not as like deep. Oh, I kind of like that. It gives like a it, you know, makes the room feel a lot different than the other rooms we just barely, like, looked at. Because typically, you know, in previous Animal Crossing games, all your all your side rooms, upstairs, basements are all, like, the same size. But this kind of gives, like, a little bit of variety to the room and, like, makes it feel a little bit more unique. I kind of like that. You could totally make this, like, a cafe, like a Brewster's Cafe, put, like, the bar here. You even put, like, KK's little music stand here and a bunch of tables around this way. You could make it, like, an arcade or something. Oh, I'm I'm having a lot of inspirations with this new this new room shape. And finally, the basement is, oh, it's the same as the upstairs. It's got, like, the same kind of, like, shrunk size, which, cool, because then you can work with and have two different designs using this kind of layout. There's no windows, though, because we're in the basement. Other than that, there's not too much else going on with my house. Um, I haven't upgraded, I haven't customized the front just yet. I, I was waiting for this, for this final upgrade now that I have it. Um, and I still haven't moved it. It's still on the beach. It's eventually gotta go. This is not its final location. I'm just still figuring out where I want to put it. But what I really want to show you is all the progress we made on the main area of the town. As I like to call it, the shopping district. So let's first start from the exit from Dodo Airlines. When you first come in, we got the stone arch here placeholder arch. I'll probably put like another arch here, but I just wanted to see what it would look like with a little archway. Initially right here, we got a little courtyard with like a little scooter, which is super cool because like it actually like shines a little light at night. You can totally see. It's super awesome. We got a little picnic table here. So when people come and visit, we can chat, have a good time, eat some snacks. Let's take a little picture. Perfect. Oh, that's so cute. You like lean back and everything. That was awesome. So then if you make your way left here, this is where you go into the main area of the shopping district. We got the two double fountains on either side with the... I hear something. Oh, you know what? Jeremiah's got fleas. There we go. Sorry, buddy. Whoa, did you just pick a flea off me? The bugs in my floor warm out the bugs in my bed, but I didn't listen. Anyways, you come into here, the main entrance to the shopping district, into first the town hall area. Don't mind this junk kind of thrown on the ground. <laughs> we got waterfalls and rivers surrounding each side of it. And then the back end, we have like money trees. And then even on top of that are going to be super cool fossils. Don't mind the uh, definitely not broken tail up at the top there. Yeah, I, I don't have all the fossils we need just yet. But the idea is I'm going to have like money trees all along the back, completely fenced off so no one can get up there. And then we got like waterfalls lining the back of it. I'm gonna have like the T-Rex on one side and then um, on the other side, I think maybe like the Triceratops or like the Spinosaurus, or some other really iconic fossil. So the reason we call this the shopping district is because to each side, the left and right, we have both the shops here up on this left platform. We have the Able Sisters with like a couple of little like hanging clothes, a little outdoor sewing area. There's like a little date night, little like bench here. You can like sit and have lunch. And if we make our way across back to the other side, you'll see that completely mirroring is Tom Nook's shop, or I guess Nook's cranny. I have yet to decorate the outside of this area besides putting like the lamp and a couple of flowers, but that, that's still on my to-do list. One of my favorite things though, is if you make your way back here, there's a little secret pathway that you can like hop across all the waterfalls and you can look at the money trees. It looks super, super cool. 
But after you make your way through the shopping district and go past, on either side you can go through these little paths, you'll enter the museum district. So the idea, the inspiration I've always had for in front of my museum, there's indoor exhibits of course, but I really wanted to also express outdoor exhibits. So as you can see in the middle here, we have like the fossil pit or a little like archeological dig site, you know, and there'll eventually be like the staircase there that we've yet to build. Here on the right would be the fish exhibit. So we'll like show off really cool tanks of big fish as well as place our taxidermies, which speaking of which we did get a new one yesterday, but that'll be for the bug area. So this will be on the left here will be all like the bugs and there's a currently a flower garden here because I'm trying to get some hybrids. Um, but eventually this cobblestone will extend that way and we'll have um, bugs going that way as well. But we might as well put up our new, it's probably this one. It is. So if we put this up, there we go. Now we have, we, now we have a better taxidermy than just the common butterfly. I didn't really, I made a mistake when first Flick came to town. I didn't realize you could only get one and I gave him a stupid common butterfly because I wanted to test to see what it would do. But now we have an Agarius butterfly. I think that's how you pronounce it anyways. Um, and the plan is to get like other really cool bugs, like some other pretty butterflies, like a tarantula would be cool. This moth right here would be really cool too. Um, and other stuff like that. And the same kind of goes for the butt, the fish over here. I want to like display the really rare fish, like the coelacanth, the sturgeon, you know. And as far as taxidermies, I want to like, it'd be so cool to taxidermy like something big, like an oarfish or something. Today's goal, we'll probably actually build this staircase, matter of fact. Um, and that'll be perfectly centered with the museum. And this will be to the dig site. Oh, don't, don't mind the balloon right in front of my face. So the idea is like it's like a little enclosed area. It'll have like fossils on either side. It'll have like little mini fossils spread throughout. I'll decorate it with little rocks and like shovels and whatnot. So over in the streams, I've been really playing with like this area particularly because I didn't really anticipate how much room I had to work with. Um, and I didn't want like this area to take up more room than it had to, you know, because I mean, if you look at the map, our shopping district does take up a pretty big room, all things considered of the town. If you look at like the big chunk of the area, it almost takes up one third of the whole town. But that being said, there's still so much room on the island to work with. Like look at all the other untapped potential, like all the resident homes are still thrown about. I got to make like a little neighborhood for them. My house, for example, is still on the beach. I plan on obviously putting that in like a really cool cliff area. So there's still a lot of other places. I plan on putting in this town, but I've been spending most of my time, as you can see, developing the shopping district slash the entrance to, you know, the town through like the Dodo Airlines. So this is kind of what I've been playing with for as far as an idea for um, entrance to my house. I kind of like this idea of these little stepping stone paths and I'll ha I'd have like waterfalls that look like this on either side, you know, and as you wait, make your way in. I could put my house here because I mean, obviously this is like a blank canvas to work with. Um, but the thing is, as far as like where I always hang out, we always hang out on the right side of the island because of the long beach. See on the left, like it's kind of got that segment, it's got the little mini beach, the river like cuts it off. So honestly, whenever I'm hanging out with friends or whatever, I, we're always on that right side of the island anyways. So I'm like kind of, that's where you can see I've kind of like played with an idea of like putting that little tunnel of waterfalls, but it would just take, it's just going to take a lot of work to put it all over there to tear down the mountain that already exists there. So I'm still playing with ideas where I want to put my house after all. Um, oh look, our money tree is built. So we can actually finally plant, oh, I just threw that back on the ground. But we can finally move this money tree over to the town hall and then that'll be the last money tree that goes over there. Pretty cool. I guess I just really need to play with ideas and like fi just figure it out. I feel like I might put it, end up putting it here just because it's going to be easier to, to work with because this area is already leveled out, you know? Um, and the entrance for it could be pretty good anyways because like, you know, you got this little area. Oh, I guess I should show off this area. This is also the cafe. So this area is going to be the, like a little outdoor cafe. Um, on the left here is like a little, little private beach that I mentioned before and I, I, I kind of like the idea of like building something around it because like it's such a small little beach you can't really do much with it anyway so how cool would it be to have like a little like there's like a little private beach and then here you can get like a little sandwich or a drink. I don't necessarily have the furniture I want to put in here yet but I was kind of just like envisioning how much room I wanted to work with like the little bamboo fences and whatnot to kind of give that feeling of like we're in like a building but it's outdoors you know. Also since we're right here might as well talk about right here on the left I built this last night. I built up a little lighthouse area. I'm not totally in love with this because I don't like how like, you know, I don't like how you can't do curved, um, I don't like how you can't do pathways on a slant. So this kind of looks weird. So I might, I might make this a square edge. Um, but I thought it'd be kind of cool to put lighthouse up on a raised cliff. I probably won't make a staircase to it because you can only make eight staircases in your town. But I thought it'd be kind of cool to have like a little bit of height to where that, the, the lighthouse is going to be on the town. And there we go. Now we have the full effect that looks so cool. Having like the money trees in the background, the waterfalls like pouring down. I cannot wait now to like completely f 
c to complete those fossils up there, you know? Because I have, like, a full-blown T-Rex right there. We look just so sick. I can't wait. Also, my row of toilets is coming along swimmingly. I gotta buy a few more, definitely. Because I want to make this, like, super, super long. But I love how it does this, like, wave effect as you run through it. Oh, looks like uh, Sterling wants to talk to us. Oh, a plant. That's super cool. Anyways, what do you want, Sterling? I have something to give you today. Have this. Just a random t-shirt. Come on, give me more reactions. I have, like, none. Oh, a zap suit? No way. Uh-oh. Wait, where's Sterling going? Oh, he's buying something from the vending machine? No way. That's actually a thing? Oh, he's just, like, tapping it. He must have bought something. That's so cool. I didn't know they actually used it. All right, let's check out the zap suit. Oh, oh my gosh. I seriously, it matches the helmet. I seriously look so amazing. Dude, it even matches the shoes and everything that I'm going. Oh my gosh, this is the look. I love it. Oh, I guess one other thing worth showing. Um, I built this little island in like the middle of the river. I will admit, totally stole it from Twitter. I won't even deny it. And I'm not even ashamed at all. But I thought it was a really cute idea to have like a little mini island in the middle of uh, the river. Or I guess like if I make a lake at some point. I might move it eventually. But um, I love the I, I love that you can now place palm trees wherever you want um, by placing uh, sand path. If, if you place, if you, for example, if you place a sand path tile on the ground, you can plant a palm tree wherever you want. So they're not restricted to just the beach anymore. It looks like Tom Nook wants to talk to us. Well, hello there, Jammer. Your home is proper basement now. You won't find many folks as precious as yours, which brings us to, uh-oh, two and a half million bells. Dude, is it even worth yeah, exactly. I won't be able to expand your home any further, but it's been a pleasure serving you. So, like, what if I just never pay back this loan? I just keep the two mil and, like, not even worry about it. Anyways, let's talk to Tom Nook and create that staircase yeah, that we were talking about. So now that we have the bridge construction, or I guess incline construction, it should work. Oh, no! I thought it was wider than this. I totally messed up. Ah, oh, that's such a bummer. Dude, I was so, uh, for some reason I was under the impression it was a little bit wider than this, and now it's going to be off-centered. Ah, no! Oh, I wasn't anticipating this. I, for some reason, was convinced it was three wide, but now that obviously makes sense. It's only two wide. Dang it, so now it's not going to be matching. All right, how do we make this work? I guess I could do two, one on either side, and, like, have the waterfall in the middle. But I also don't want to use up that many staircases. Because if you look at the map, we're already using two, one for each of the shops. And if we use an additional two for the museum, and it, beyond that, the museum is late raised up. So we probably have to use even two more on either side of it. Oh, that totally makes things harder here. Shoot, I didn't even realize. Well, I might have to think about it then, what I'm going to do with this staircase. Because my initial idea when I first started was gonna put one, I was going to put staircase on either side. But I didn't want to use up two staircases for this, you know, area that's arguably just a dead end. Because you can only put up to eight in your town, which is such a limiting factor. So I just didn't want to use up so many for just this, you know, you know, the Fossil Museum's cool. It's like one of the probably coolest spots, spots in my town currently. But I just didn't want to take up, I just didn't want to use up two of my staircases. So here's kind of my thought. We either just, oh well, we messed up, and we just have it off-centered a little bit. Which could still totally work, um, but obviously... It's a little annoying that's off-centered, you know. The other idea could be maybe pull out this cliffside. Or push it in. So then it's like actually have it like sideways. So then it's like you go up, up, and then you're up. Kind of like what we already have with our um, staircases down that way. So this was kind of my other thought. Do something like this. Like, because then it's like not ruining the symmetry. I mean, it's like a little weird, but then it's kind of like just like a zigzag up. Um, rather than, like, you know, the awkward moved over to the left or right staircase, you know? Um, I'm gonna have to think about it. Maybe you guys let me know in the comments. What do you think looks better? This or the straight-on one what's like, kind of off-centered? I mean, I could push this back a little bit. Um, and it has, like, obviously a lower profile. Like, I feel like I could make this work and I could make the pathway, you know, I could extend, pull back the waterfall then that side and, like, make the pathway come around back to the center, you know? I don't know. I'm just gonna. I think I'm gonna have to think about it and hear what you guys think in the comments because I was totally anticipating the staircase to be three wide and it wasn't. And I don't know why I thought that was a thing for some reason. Like I said, it totally would have worked when I had the double staircases on each side. But now that I'm like trying to save staircases and not use up two for this fossil area, I'm trying to think how to best 
use a single staircase and make this still look good. I feel like a little zigzag wouldn't look terrible, you know, down, boom, and, the, and then boom, you know? Um, I feel like it still could totally work. Obviously, the straight is what we were hoping for, but I don't know. You guys let me know in the comments. And so the other thing I was kind of working on and, like, testing was potentially put my home over here. As you can see, like, I was, like, carving out my mountain here to, like, see what it would look like with this waterfall, you know? It looks pretty epic, but obviously this is a lot to tear up. And I don't know if I love how it's, like, I don't know. I, I, I'm still... I'm still not sure how I love this, because, like, the while I do love this side of the island, obviously Marshall and Goldie, like, my two two of my favorite villagers are living over here, but obviously can move them. Um, my only other thought of potentially actually putting it back in that upper left-hand corner is, well, I mean, the museum, uh, the shopping district's right there, so I can quickly go from my house to the shopping district pretty quickly. Um, even though this is, like, the side of the island I typically hang out on, I don't know. I think I might actually end up putting it on that right side. So yeah, I'm going to play with that idea. I'm going to move this canyon over left so it's like in route with this uh, little cafe area. And like eventually I'll put like a, I'll put a bridge here because this will be trafficked enough considering my house is going to be right here. And then the idea is I can maybe put like a staircase up to the bug area right here. I could pull this forward. And so this is kind of the route where we'd be going like right here, I feel like. Or I could do a, a, an angled, and it could do an angled bridge, and then make you go straight. I don't know. I gotta play with the idea. Okay, so we got those waterfalls set up, and they're not even centered close to this other side, but whatever. I'm kind of thinking... Because I kind of want... I love those jumping stones that we have at Town Hall. But I'm kind of thinking I want to do that here, but instead of on the second level, I want to do it on the third level. However, I might want to put another wall behind the top level of waterfalls, so then I would have to... Pull this even forward more. Um, I don't know. I'm just thinking we we don't have a lot. We don't have a ton of room to work with because obviously this is kind of the barrier right here. Um, so that's like as far as I want those waterfalls to really go. I mean, there's still room. The constricting side is this side. This is you know what I mean. Um, so I need to play with this design a little bit more. Um, but more than likely, it's not going to be perfectly flush with this. But the idea is I could potentially put a, a diagonal bridge. Um, and so then it could kind of center us more like here. And so then um, the entryway could be like this this tile where the water is or something like that. Or, you know, kind of more in this middle. Um, so then it feels like more like that. And then I think the idea it would be kind of cool. Like this beach isn't the coolest. I mean, it does have this big rock. Um, but I could like make this like a little jet off to the side, like a little secret beach area. And also do like a little fun design here and have it like kind of walled off from my house, but maybe have like a secret entrance in the back. Like it cliffs all the way up until here and then you can like pop in and like go to my house or something like that. So uh, it, like, and the idea is like, it's gonna be like a canyon of waterfalls and then it's gonna open up to an area surrounded by canyons and waterfalls with the house in the middle and have a little bit of a front yard to kind of like put some stuff out, you know? Um, and then, yeah, then have that little secret in the back. And maybe even have, it'd be crazy, but maybe even have, like, a secret tunnel in the back as well. Like, shooting all the way to the other side of the island. Like, tear down this area and just, like, make it so you can run all the way across. Or maybe, like, you have to, like, ladder up, you know? And have the cliff size obviously all the way up. But, like, you can ladder up here and you can't see it, maybe. And then you can run all the way across. So it's like a highway all the way to the other end of the island, which I think would be super cool. So I'm going to play with this idea, kind of get some things more situated. Um, and kind of get this layout. I am starting to like my house being over here because then I can quickly, I mean, especially if there's a staircase here, then I can quickly exit my house, jump up here, and then run across through all these flowers. <laughs> but then I can get to the shopping district really quickly, you know, because that's the only thing about the other side of the island. While I do like those beaches over there and that's where I like hanging out, um, it's not as convenient to getting to all the shopping stuff. And you typically run back and forth between your house a lot doing that. So I think this is kind of a good idea. And I'm really liking the idea of putting it in this little corner. Because then it's like in its own like little area. It's walled off from the shopping district. It's walled off from the cafe. And it'll be kind of in its own spot over in this area. Okay, after a little bit of work, I kind of have a tentative setup for what's going on. I'm still not totally in love with it. Um, but the idea is like we still have the angled bridge here. Um, as I previously mentioned, I'll have to figure out how to fit that correctly. But anyways, the idea is like, here's the entryway. You got the waterfalls on either side. Um, obviously, it's not completely symmetrical right now, but whatever. I'll fig figure that out later. But the idea is like, you kind of go through this canyon of waterfalls, right? You make your way in, and then you open up to like an enclosed little area of, of waterfalls, and then the house being up on this little like raised area. But I'm still playing with how things are going to work in here. Like, I'm considering keeping this lower area open because I like, like, being able to walk out onto this rock area, you know, and being able to do a little setup here. 
Um, the house itself, I asking you guys on Discord, it was a mess trying to figure out what the actual size of the house is. There we go. That looks like the correct size, I think. So I was talking to you guys on Discord trying to figure out the actual size for the house. Um, I think what we came up with was 4 by 5 I know it's an odd number because the, the door you go into is in the middle. Um, I'm pretty sure this is the size we have to work with, but I might have to play with that later. I don't think I'm going to place the home today because I'm still figuring out what I want the layout to be in here. Because the idea would be, I mean, because again, it's an odd number across, just like the museum. So we're going to have to figure out a creative way to have a staircase, probably doing like the sideways thing again. So maybe we like, um... Maybe we like dig into this part right here here-ish, so then it like pops up right where the door is, you know? I mean, that makes it kind of awkward for like you come in and you gotta go all the way around to go up. Um, I'll think of a convenient way to make it so you can go quicker. Maybe, honestly, we flip this, so then maybe we make the upper area over here, and then you literally just like run through, go up this staircase, and you're in the house, you know? Um, but then again, you know, this rock area, I don't know. I still gotta kind of play with this idea, but I think things are finally starting to come together of what I kind of want for my house area. Because I still want enough room to like be able to do stuff in the front yard. I also want to take advantage of these rock beaches because like they, you know, there's only so many in your town, you know? And I feel like they're unique enough areas that definitely deserve their own designs. I'm still not sure how I want to handle everything. I mean, I'm liking how this, this hallway is coming through. I actually might push this back. I don't like how closed it is. I might do something like this. And like open it up a little bit. And not that. And heck, we could even pull the water, like, the little stream a little bit farther in if we wanted. So then it, like, doesn't just, like, stop on a... So it doesn't just stop on a dime. We could kind of even wrap it around the corner even if I can, like, pull that off right here. Something like that coming in. I mean, obviously on both sides. I don't have both of them set up, but... Well, anyways, that, that kind of idea, right? So, like, maybe it, like, kind of rounds and comes around the corner. Um, so then it's not just a harsh edge. That could totally work. Um... And the other thought I kind of had was to take advantage of these front areas, because there kind of will be the problem is, you know, the museum, it's going to be, I'm going to be, the problem is, is the house I'm building is already going to be, already going to be cutting into this museum area. I mean, I'm probably, I can definitely pull back this, like, this doesn't have to be this far wide. Um, like, that water doesn't need to be connected at all. Like, I could probably pull this in one, maybe even two. Just all, it just depends on how much room I want up there. But anyways, one of the ideas I was having is potentially taking advantage of these, like, front areas, like, on either side, and maybe, like, pulling it out a little bit so we could fit, like, the robot hero as well as Godzilla. Godzilla. They leave, like, a, f like, this is how big it is. It's three by three. But I would probably pull it over a little bit this way. Um, so then it's, like, mirroring on both sides. Like, you could look up, and we have both, like, the robot hero on the left and Godzilla on the right as you make your way into my epic epic looking entrance into my home. So I've definitely got some things to think about. I still got some toying to do and play around with. I gotta, I'm got i gonna finish off the uh, the cliff side of this area all the way back. Um, and then I'll play with laying out this. But I think as far as placing the home, we're gonna have to leave that for next episode. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, be sure to give it a big awesome like. If you haven't already, definitely subscribe for tons more on Animal Crossing New Horizons. I think this place is really starting to come together, starting to like form in my mind the inspiration of what I kind of want. And I think we have just enough space. It's a tight fit, but I, I think that's a good thing because I don't want to like take up too much space. I'm always trying to make sure everything is compact as possible because there's only so much room on this island for big builds. I have some room over on this beach over here to play with ideas, um, but I really want to nail how big I need this canyon to be and what I'm kind of imagining for it to open up to my home because I definitely want it to be exactly parallel with this. Um, but I gotta figure out how I want the staircase to work. I even could actually just put it off to the left here, so that's just like along this waterfall area. I don't know. Maybe give your, your ideas in the comments below. But thanks again, guys, so much for watching, and I will catch you in the next one. See ya!